Everyone, here's a uh, quick Wolf Dan's opinion episode. Yeah, I was gonna make one eventually, but this time I'm gonna do a new game that just came out today, and I just bought today. And it, and that is the uh, the sequel to the amazing sleeper hit, One Finger Death Punch. And no, it's not that fucking band by the same name. You know, it's the it's the kung fu fighting game. That uh, Markiplier and a bunch of our YouTubers did back in 2000 something, and it became a hit because of that. And for the record, I have played the first game, but I haven't uh, beaten it. And to be honest, the, the game is hard. Well, both of these games are hard, but but this but this but, but the second game makes the first one looks like a pussy. Okay, so pretty much just this game that you're pretty much a random kung fu fighting dude. That likes to kill things. And that's it. There's no story. It's that, to be honest, that's fine. It also ha it has like an amazing introduction though, which is amazing. So, and but here's this is the game is that pretty much it's like a room based game, but but pretty much you have you have to fight and everything using uh using your fists, your kung fu fighting skills uh. And also uses all types of weapons like swords, staff, the topaz. This one has the topaz. Nunchucks, which is my personal favorite. And he even had the lightsaber. I'm uh, not sure if he'll. I'll get copyright claim for this from using the sound effects of from Star Wars, which which I'm not. So yeah, I'm not gonna talk about too much about the game other than yeah, the, the, other than it, it's actually hard, pretty damn hard. I'll definitely say it's the hardest compared to. The other game. So, so pretty much you got your your standard mooks. Uh, what, what the fuck? Sorry, I'm doing off script. All right, I'm, like I said, I'm not doing a script from this because I'm, I'm too lazy, and also I'm not gonna waste time with a script. All right, I am. Sp I did spend time to get gameplay, and right now I have enough of interesting right now to do. So, so shut up. All right. So, okay. Alright, so, so pretty much, to control the game, use a mouse. There is a controller, but I will not recommend it, because you'd be frustrated. And you pretty much use two buttons. And that's it! Use the left mouse, use the left mouse to, to attack enemies from the left, and use the right mouse to attack enemies from the right. That's self-explanatory. But, to mix things up, there's different types of enemy. You got your, uh, your regular, your regular moves that kill, like, one hit. But you also got different card types that... Sometimes you got hit twice, sometimes you got hit, sometimes it hits once and then moves to the other side, then you got hit, hit him again. Then you got brawlers, which are a bit annoying, but they're not impossible. And I don't hate them. You also got many types of weapons, like like the aforementioned melee weapons. You also got ranged weapons. And in this seek and it and it, and in the sequel, you actually have guns. And my personal favorite is the sniper rifle, because it actually pierces through multiple enemies, which is nice. And awesome. So, I also got these, uh, those, uh, knife throwers from the first game, I think. It's been a while since I played it. I also made a video about it, so uh, you can check that out in the, in the card above. So, sometimes you gotta dodge projectiles, sometimes you gotta block them, and sometimes you just catch them and throw them at, right back at them. And, I will say the one thing, I am not too happy about the skills. Because, it's bad. I don't know, there's nothing interesting about the skills, and I can't activate them anytime I want. Which is stupid, I only have to, I, I only activate them once. Why? Why fix that? Is it, is it for balancing purposes? I will admit, the game looks way better compared to the first one. But, here's the thing, the, the game is too cluttered. And it moves way fast. And there's no ability to change the speed. And you may look, you look at the gameplay and say, hey, you, hey, the gameplay actually looks fun and quick. Well, guess what? Try playing it. Because you will fresh, you will rage. If you're a perfectionist, or if you like to do perfects at every single, every single level, you're going to hate this game. Because I would not recommend this game for any perfectionist. Because you will rage quick. In like, probably two minutes. And I will admit the game has impressive, has more impressive animations and also has some good questionable artwork. And also, also has the tutorial. Also has the tutorial section, which is pretty good, and it tells you enough, but also keeps you on your toes. So and you can't skip it. So 
so my recommendation is well earn and get good as well use a mouse and use a mouse because you're gonna you're gonna have more fun with that than anything else and I and also I really like the music in this one this music in this the first game's music is iconic but this one just ramps it up to 11 and it's amazing it's, it's mostly techno and electronic it's mostly some techno and uh, electronic tracks and it's actually it's also it's all well pretty good with a with good uh, Chinese uh, mythology themes and it's amazing so yeah I, I'm not an expert in this game and I don't know who's expert in this who's expert in these types of games but this game's amazing and but I will not recommend it to everyone because it's so fucking hard if you want a less hard game uh, go play the first game. It, it's, it's it's actually fairly challenging, without going too over over the top. Also, in this, also you get to use the ball of death. The ball of death. I forgot to talk about that, but the ball of death is amazing. But in this, but in this one, you get to you get to use four of them at once. It sounds fun, but the mo every moving so fast that I can barely use them. So yeah. So yeah, and. And the game is pretty so the game is well the, the game is well made it, it, it's it's actually a well company made game i have no uh graphical issues or any frame rate problems and also there's plenty of settings you can turn off some some of the effects or even or even cap the frames to six frames per second which i don't know why will you do that which it runs fine but but the game speed is the problem but and also the backgrounds look nice there's it's actually more variation with the background I'm not going to talk about too much about the backgrounds because they're all just just uh, sceneries with just beach and cities and all types of stuff. And addition of guns is is a pretty good, cool, pretty cool addition. Oh man, and like I said, this game is this game is also a bit cartoon over the top gory. So yeah, it's amazing. I love gore. So yeah, I, everything's account for in this game and then some. So yeah. Also, also there's some bonus rounds, but I really don't care. At least the lifesaver rounds are there and are, and are fun. So I didn't, I didn't already spend like an hour playing this game, but I'll definitely say I'll may play this game now and then. But it's not a game that I will sit down and actually sit through the entire thing. The game's actually on sale right now. By the time I make this video, because it just came out, so I highly recommend this game for pretty much everyone. Or at least try it out. I'm not sure the first game's on sale, so I recommend playing the first game because it, 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 it's actually better compared to this. But yeah, I I wouldn't play this. Like I said, I just tried sequel because I'm a fan of the original. So if you if you if you like a challenging game or you think the first game's too easy and not brutal enough, then I recommend this game. Or oh, and if you like kung fu type movies and stuff like I am, I love kung fu movies. Don't judge me. So anyway, that's it for today. I'll probably, like I said, I'm not going to do this series too frequently because I'm not going to do scripts. I'm pretty much going to talk about what I feel about the game, what works and what doesn't work. I have nothing, I have no major problems about the game, earning it's too fucking hard and too fucking fast for me. That's probably because I'm more used to slow paced uh, action games and also my reflex times ain't the best. It's really not the best, but I will admit it's, it's over the top in a good way, so I recommend it. So until then, I'll, I'll see you all in the next Wolf Testic video. Bye bye.